you can see that this assembly on this door is a glued assembly. So here's our thin sheet metal of the body panel, and it's just using an epoxy or an automotive adhesive to bond this element to the interior component of the door. We'll skin this door out, and we'll take a look at what's inside of these doors structurally and talk about how we tackle those elements. This is the reinforced segment of the door. In a lot of newer vehicles, this element may be a high strength steel. If this needs to be uh, removed from the vehicle to gain access through this door, and there's so much impingement on the rest that we can't do a traditional pop, it's important that we use an appropriate strength cutter to accomplish this. When you cut these, you need to understand that they have pretty forceful responses because a lot of the boron and the treatments in those high strength steels fracture rather than shear. So make sure that both right. ends of these elements are captured prior to doing a hydraulic cut. Otherwise, one end may become a projectile if it's not anchored.